Okay, I wanted to show you guys today how I do my white backdrop for my blog posts. Um, so this is a picture of what it looks like when I take the pictures uh, on my blog. This is the Seamwork Aries leggings that I posted about um, a little while back. And just a quick behind the scenes look of how I set up this backdrop. I ordered a large amount, maybe like 10 yards of a super thick, um, it's a blackout drape curtain fabric. And it's white, it's very opaque, it has a good thickness, um, so it works well for this um, technique, I guess. And since I ordered a lot of it, it came on that roll up there. And I just hang it from my ceiling. I screwed some of those um, little white like hooks that are that are screw in into the ceiling and I just hang it with these little ribbon wire things that have a wire in them. So this wired rope helps me be able to hook these to the ceiling just by standing on a chair without really being able to reach the ceiling all the way because they stay stiff as I'm um, trying to reach them up there, if that makes sense. And I do have some other hooks up there. Um, off to the sides, I have some white butcher paper on rolls that I will often hang to either side of this setup um, for when I'm shooting video and this, this process isn't really possible with video. Um, so that's what you're seeing in the following one room that really has good lighting. So this is kind of the makeshift solution that I found. Um, but there's a little more to it than just setting it up because um, I can't get my camera enough in the, let me see, what am I trying to say here? Because um, this panel is only so wide. So I do have these paper panels which aren't as opaque as you can see. Um, I put those up for my videos for YouTube because I can't do these kinds of edits that I'm about to show you for my YouTube videos. I can only do them um, for my pictures. But for my pictures, I like for it to be very streamlined and clean background. Um, no differentiating lines or extra stuff so um, this is a picture that I would start with and as you can see over here there's some stuff in my studio you can see my desk um, some other stuff over here um, and then we have the paper panels on either side that are not um, as dark white as dark white <laughs> as deep white as the um, my backdrop here so I want this to be completely uniform and just look like a solid white background so how I do that is I open the photo this is all in Photoshop with my marquee tool so this little um, square selector here I click and drag this empty space on the side of me and I want to transform it so I'm gonna hit command T to do a transformation of this. And this is just gonna transform this area that I've selected on the picture. And I'm just gonna click and drag that off to the side. So immediately, um, and then I hit enter to save that transformation. And immediately I have a complete white backdrop on that side. And I'm gonna repeat that over here. Command T or Control T, depending on what um, operating system you're on, to transform this selection. And then I'm just going to click and drag. So that's just spreading everything in that selection wider. So um, let me just show you what it would look like if I were to do that with an actual part of the picture so you can see what's happening. If I click and drag, that's just getting wider and not doing great things for my butt. So um, that's not what we want, but since the area I'm selecting is solid white, um, it's, just, it's just changing, dragging all of that whiteness into the full frame. So that way I have a full 
white backdrop when I'm done. And it looks like I'm standing on a very large, against a very large white wall, but I'm actually just standing against a, I don't know, 44 inch wide piece of fabric. So um, I, I am very conscious when I'm standing in front of my backdrop that I'm centered so I'm able to make these edits later. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or want me to go further into detail about any of this, please let me know in the comments below um, and I can show you more about that. Thanks for joining me and I hope that you find this helpful. Bye.